Top Israeli official calls for the United Nations chief to resign after saying the Hamas massacre did not happen in a vacuum. It's important to reconsider that the attacks by Hamas did not happen in a vacuum, Guterres said at a UN Security Council meeting on the Israeli-Hamas war. The Palestinian people have been subjected to 56 years of suffocating occupation. They have seen their land steadily devoured by settlements and plagued by violence. Their economy is stifled, their people displaced and their homes demolished. Their hopes for a political solution in their plight have been vanishing. So pretty much Guterres read a statement that Hamas wrote for him because it sounds exactly like their normal rhetoric full of absolute nonsense in a big scale. While Guterres added that these grievances could not justify Hamas actions, Israeli Foreign Minister Eli Cohen said that the Secretary General's equivocation was unacceptable and he was cancelling his meeting with Guterres. The UN Secretary General, who shows understanding for the campaign of mass murder of children, women and the elderly, is not fit to lead the United Nations, Erdogan said. I call on him to resign immediately. There is no justification or point in talking to those who show compassion for the most terrible atrocities committed against the citizens of Israel and the Jewish people. There are simply no words. Unfortunately, this is prophetically what the world's going to look like at the very, very, very end, right before the tribulation, i.e. now. And this is exactly the sentiment the world is going to have towards Israel, the Jews and Christians right now. This is how the world feels about God and the light when they're comfortably wrapping themselves in darkness. Pray for Israel. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for more and more people on all sides. Not just in Israel and Gaza and all those spots, but all over the world. To have the revelation that Jesus Christ is Lord. And come and kneel at the foot of the cross. And accept Him into their hearts while there is time. We never know when our last minute might be. I might die before I finish this video. Am I ready to die and meet eternity and see God face to face? You betcha. Because I know my Redeemer lives and I know He knows me by name. So I'm good to go. And I want other people to have that assurance and that feeling in their lives. God bless and Shalom.